Hey everybody, welcome to Shop Talk. We got a special episode today where we're doing a gift exchange. I got Kaching here with me, uh, and this is a follow-up to our gift guide where we're going to give each other some gifts that are maybe stuff from the guide, stuff that Fusion customers have made, uh, maybe stuff that's useful to somebody who uses Fusion, like Kaching and I. Yeah. yeah. I I'll tell you this, none of my gifts for you are from the guide. So okay, yeah. Like Jonathan said, I don't know what he picked for me, and he doesn't know what I picked for him. So okay. why are we doing this? What's what's the point? Yeah, I mean, the whole idea is that we want to celebrate our community, uh, celebrate you guys, all of you who are watching, all of you who are making amazing products, creating really, really awesome content and sharing them with sharing your knowledge with our community. We want to thank you. And we want to highlight some of the things that you've made, some of the, the products you've created through this GIF exchange. So um, yeah, we're really excited. I'm excited to see what you picked for me. I'm excited to give you what I picked for you. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's man. get started. Okay. Okay. So all right. Oh, am I getting? Am I getting? You're one getting first? it first. Okay, all right. Here we go. It. Oh my god. Okay. All right. It's a nice, nice square box. Yeah. Could be anything. It could could be anything. Could be absolutely anything. It could be a tiny. It could be a box in a box. Yeah. And a very and, uh, so you can that's that's gonna be the top. That's okay. That's top. All right, let's yeah. do it. Let's open that up. Tried to kind of get you started there. Yeah. Okay. In the interest of uh, any any you know, expediency. Or now I'm I'm I'm. I'm no, gonna, you just gotta go. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, sweet. Okay, now this is some of my favorite filament from Ooh, Protopasta. Copper composite. Copper composite. That's one I don't have. So now the cool thing cool. with their metal composite uh, filament is that you can polish it so it actually looks like metal when it comes out. Yeah. But with this one, especially with copper, you can also get a patina on it. So oh, you can make yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You know, get a get a real green Statue of Liberty kind of effect, which is that super is cool. Awesome. Um, all you got to do is salt, vinegar, and water, okay. and um. I think you just dunk it in there for a while and it starts to go That's go green. So, yeah. um, you know, I know they have protopasta. The reason we're, we're bringing them out, um, the main reason is I think they make the best filament. I use it for everything. Right. It's the, I pretty much buy exclusively their stuff. Uh, but they're also, they use Fusion for uh, all of their machinery to make the uh, the their filament, yeah, um, and they've been a longtime customer. They're they're a great company. You've so. you visited their uh, their space. I've yeah. never been to their. Oh, space. you haven't. Can you believe that? Either. But it's from, just across the river. Like we should totally do it. From what I've river. told, like their space is awesome. You yeah. can go, and I think they they do uh, they do events where you get yeah. to make your own. You get right? to make, you your, make own, your own exactly. Your own uh, uh, filament and uh, color. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they've been a great great partner. They're and and. Yes, I buy a ton of their. Yeah, they make the best stuff. Their, their, I almost said pasta. <laughs> I buy a ton of their pasta. <laughs> yeah, they they you um, the three D. You know, we mentioned on the gift guide, Kaching had a great idea, which was the uh, the subscription service. But knowing he already uses Proto Pasta, I thought it'd be better yeah. to just give you my favorite one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I have never actually uh, tried any of the metal kind of like the metal infused yeah. uh, filament. So yeah, this would be sweet. I'll have to think about stuff to design in them. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. super cool. I mean, if you do anything that's easy to mechanically sand, you can just kind of yeah. wet sand it and it'll give it that nice like polished look. Yeah. But another thing you can do is vapor smoothing, which is uh, you can do that with PLA. I think it's MEK. Okay. There's a chemical you can put in an old rice cooker yeah. and then you put a little steamer basket in there and put your thing in. Oh. And then it's like completely smooth that's after, cool. you know, a couple hours or maybe awesome. less than that. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while, but. Oh, yeah, private. a lot of fun, man. I'll tell you this: their their like uh, matte uh, yeah. HTPLAs are some of the most matte oh, I've yeah. ever seen. It's so nice. They're perfect, and they don't so nice. they don't clog as much as the, yeah. the other matte uh, filaments I've used from other companies. Um, their stuff isn't as brittle for mm -hmm. some reason. Yeah, the, yeah. the matte ones tend to get brittle too. So yeah, yeah can't can't say enough good things. About uh, just as an example, recently I started printing. Uh, these railed like plot uh, planter pots. Yeah. Uh, from a from a designer, he's under the the brand Lofted Goods. Okay. Uh, if you ever look him up, he's got all of his things on Fangs.com. Uh huh. Uh, that design is awesome. Pretty sure he used Fusion. He uses Fusion for all of his designs. Nice. Uh, we should we should definitely chat if you're if you're watching. Uh, let, yeah. Let's talk because we'd love to have you on on pot on the on the podcast. Yeah. But I, I printed the the potters the the planters. 
in the HDPLA opaque white. Yeah. And it's, oh, oh yeah. It's nice. Super clean. It doesn't even look 3D printed. It yeah. looks like it was just, yeah, it looks super clean. Uh, very, very nice quality. Nice. Um, so. This these, this stuff would be great for planners. Yeah. The patina and everything. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think that would look really cool Ooh, with, with okay. plants. Okay, yeah, that could be my next yeah. my next project. Cool. Dude, thank you. Yeah. I love it. I love All right. it. Right. Okay. And then here's number two. I love it. Okay, I'm going in. Go in. What, uh, okay, this one's a little heavier. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. So everybody. My dude. Everybody doing 3D printing oh, have one dude. of these. Oh, my dude. It's a uh, filament dryer. So um, oh. filament over time takes on moisture. Dude. And it starts to crackle and it can clog your nozzles. And it's it's uh, it's it, it can be a real pain. But if you've got one of these, you have a spool of fil filament that's taken yeah. on too much moisture. Yeah. Pop it in there, set the timer, dries everything Dude. out, good as new. That's awesome. I don't have one. I just dry it right now in my closet. Yeah. With yeah, yeah. Like a bunch of... Those desiccant, the desiccant, desiccant, packs. desiccant packs everywhere. Yeah, and then yeah. you gotta wait overnight. Yeah. And like, you know, this it's this is this is a, a nice way to just like oh, get it back to big. to zero, you know, back to good as new, zero moisture. So I hear a lot of people dry PETG when yeah. they take it out. Like, do you really need to dry it since they're vacuum sealed and they've got a desiccant pack when they ship? I mean, yeah, ev everything you can do to get your filament as dry as okay. possible is yeah. gonna give you a better result. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, that. Yeah. It helps to have a desiccant pack and a, and a sealed bag and everything, but um, especially with something, if you're trying to do something that, that really needs to be durable, that you want it to last, sure, yeah. you know, the drier it is, the better the performance yeah, is going to yeah. be. That's cool. Amazing. Thank you. Know. you. Okay. All right. Okay. And the last one. These are all very useful. This one's I quite a bit Ooh. smaller. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is it? Ooh, Okay. Oh, dude, yes, yes. <laughs> you said you wanted one, Ardu so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Ardu Boy. So this is designed in Fusion, uh, all Fusion Electronics, um, and it's a credit card-sized uh, game system that has 8-bit games that are in high contrast, black and white. That's so cool. And there's a whole uh, open source community around it. So yeah. there's actually over, it says over 200 games, it's yeah. over 300 now. Wow, okay. And they're all free. And you can just go on, plug the thing in, drag and drop the uh, the the file, and off you go. So, uh, well, you had this on the on the gift guide yeah. episode, and I didn't realize how small it was. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh wow, that's that's tiny. Really small, and, and yeah, right? when you say credit card size, this is. Yeah. That is credit card size, but I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Love it, dude. Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you. This is this is awesome. Glad you like it. Should we get to yours now? Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so. Mine is just one box, so I managed oh, to put gorgeous. everything at this. Everything in this, in this. Did you wrap gift. this yourself, or did you get your wife? To I do have it for to you? give my. I wife, thought so. Wife credit. She 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 used to do uh, gift wrapping at Nordstrom. I don't, I'm not surprised because so look at this. At yeah, yeah. So she yeah. she knows what she's doing. <laughs> this is this is impressive, man. Classy. Look at that gold with the little. Yeah, very nice. Yes. Got that out of the way. More layers, my goodness! Put it to the and side. And we can we can take them out. There we go. Okay, I see the Grove Made logo. Yeah, I am stoked about that. Grove Made is another is a Fusion customer. They, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their their uh, office is actually just across the river yeah, from not, us, right not here. At all. Um, they've yeah. I mean, for for those who don't know Grove Made, they've made a lot of uh, really nice like desk accessories, uh, laptop stands, desk mounts, all that kind of stuff. But they also have some really nice, like, uh, measurement tools. Oh, um, okay. Give uh, me a hint. hint. Yeah, All right. a hint of what... Uh, Here what we go. Like. I've actually never... I yeah, Obviously, I didn't open this yet, so I don't even know what it looks like in person. But... Yes. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. This is super nice. Um, I decided to get you the triangle. Because, yeah. Um, I don't know how, how much... If you if you have one up, but everyone could use one. No, this Especially is great. Doing carpentry. And yeah, yeah. I do a lot of like woodworking yeah. stuff yeah. and you know, kind of general makery kind of stuff. The thing I like about this one is that um, you know, normally the square I'm working with when I'm laying stuff out is uh is like your typical uh speed square mm. you get from a from a hardware store. And it's got this little um kind of rim on it that uh prevents you from being being able to put it flat. Oh, okay. right. Okay. So like this, this is nice because you can actually put it down, you know, get, get your measurements. It's got, yeah. uh, imperial and metric, which is great. 
Um, I tend like to use. Oh yeah, yeah. I tend to use uh, Imperial for um, furniture, like any, anything like that, and then Metric I use for um, 3D printing mostly. So gotcha, yeah, it's super yep. useful. I like that it's got some like curvature. Yeah. To it too. So it's not your like just standard triangle square uh, ruler. Yeah. It's got a bit of a design element. I like this camphor it. here, and yeah. it also makes it it's it, it's um kind of grippy too. It makes it a little more ergonomic. Yeah. They make such cool stuff. Anodized Thanks. aluminum. Um, yeah, pretty pretty nicely nicely made. Awesome, love it. All right, let's keep going here. Ooh, this is, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. This feels like a hat. It feels like a hat. Let's see what we got. Ta da! I'll do it myself. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so uh, when I saw this hat, a little story behind this hat. When I saw this hat, I'm like, okay, it's gotta be Jonathan. <laughs> yes. <'Cause> Jonathan. <laughs> Does most of the things, 99% yeah. of things himself. If 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 he sees something and, and he can't get it, he's gonna you're gonna do it yourself. Yes. So I'm like, yo, this has <laughs> got to be your hat. But what the the fun part is, this hat is actually from if you look at the back from Scott Eugene. Oh, Scott Eugene. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So he, you know, he's a awesome creator. Yeah. Puts out such a, such cool content around just. 3D printing and, and making and uh, yeah, just all around great content creator and, and uh, maker uh, and designer. But he's also got a merch store. So I yeah. was like, picking up stuff and then I I started looking at his merch store and I saw his hat. I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get this hat yeah. for you. Well, I mean, that's, you know, it's that's uh, a testament to his... Um, and he does make everything. He, he does. He makes everything. He does do it himself. Yeah, yeah. this is great. And yeah, I mean, this was pretty short short notice. So knowing his merch store is that reliable, that's really cool. That's right. Go yeah. check him out. He makes he makes awesome stuff. Um, really cool uh, creator. Love it. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. Number three. Hey. Ooh. Oh, the box is a little beat up. Nice. <laughs> Apologies. But uh, yes, it's a, it's a lucky bamboo set from <laughs> Lego. Um, I figured you're in your shop a lot. Yeah. It's hard to keep a plant alive in your shop. But it would definitely die. Have yeah. some, <laughs> to have some greenery is, is kind of nice. So why not have a greenery, yeah, greenery that will last forever? The real cool thing about Lego yeah. is that they are they are like real innovators. Oh, they yeah. innovate on their their process, they innovate on their products. Yep. Um uh, way back in the early days of Fusion, uh, we actually were working with Lego to see if kids would be more responsive in uh, consuming instructions uh, on an iPad rather than like flipping through pages to try to build something. So uh, this was when like we had our animations workspace yeah. as a technology, and we were trying to see if using that technology to develop building instructions would work better for kids. So we went over to Billund in Denmark. We went to their uh, the Lego world, which was insane yeah. uh, as an adult. I, I was just <laughs> like a six-year-old kid there. Yeah. Uh, and when we we tested the the building instructions with the kids to see like, okay, are they are they gonna build faster, more accurately versus uh, a book? Yeah. And um, yeah, it turns out like they were way more responsive. Uh, and what's also cool at the time is that there were and they were just in the kind of the the uh, investigation discovery phase of how to combine different kinds of materials. Mm -hmm. So now you see parts that are like rigid on one end and then flexible on the other. Yeah. But just like one continuous part. Sure. They were researching that at the time oh, and now okay. they've like made it and it's like everywhere in so many different parts. So yeah. it was really cool to, to kind of see that process and, and uh, see how they were thinking yeah uh but yeah what a what an awesome company oh they're they're, they're the greatest i mean just collaborate. yeah they're, they're they're unbelievable even from day one if you know anything about injection molding and you look at a, a, a lego brick uh. and put two of them together it's like i don't i don't understand how they did this yeah i yeah. mean it's not there's no draft angle you can see it's everything's like perfectly straight yeah. the, all kinds of different parts um another tie-in is uh in tinkercad you can make some you can make a model and then click the Lego icon, and it'll show you it in, in Lego. Yeah. 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 That, so, that's so cool. Good yeah. times. We love working with them. Yeah. All right. And All right. finally, ooh, nice. Yes. Sketch Every Damn Day by Spencer Nugent. Okay. The reason why I picked this for you is, uh, yeah, I mean, Spencer, uh, what, a, what a brilliant designer. Uh, and he made, uh, he published a series of books. I think this was his second or first one. 
and it really just teaches folks how to how to draw yeah. for people that don't come from a drawing background. Mm -hmm. right? So like drawing such a such a like uh, visceral and immediate way to communicate ideas. Yeah. And the the better you get at drawing something, the the easier you you're. It just makes your life easier when you're communicating. So Absolutely. I feel like we all can be better at drawing or just even like sketching out things. Yeah. Um, for this is engineers great. or designers, right? Like engineers, that's I feel like we we as engineers should learn how to draw better. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah. This, uh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, this will be oh, helpful. Dude, this is so good because I I mean I. I I need to do this. I need to draw every day, you know? And it's that that's his whole thing. Spencer's whole thing is sketch a day, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that's how you get good at it. I look at, you know, our colleagues like um like Jeff Smith, for example, uh, who who will just sit there and he can yeah. he can sketch out anything incredible that's that he can see in his head. Um the other thing about sketching is that it's we we tend to think, you know, if we're using we're we're fusion users. We tend to think, well, I'll just go straight to Fusion. Mm. I do it all the time. Yep. I, sketch, I skip sketching altogether, go straight yep. to Fusion. And of course we can do that and it gets easier all the time. But the fact of the matter is that when you sketch, you're using a different part of your brain. Yeah. And, and it's a way of thinking through a problem. Yeah. And it's, it's, there's, there's something else going Absolutely. on there that's not just like jumping to the solution and model this thing. It's, you know, to actually sit down and, and do that is, is really helpful in yeah. a design process. Yeah, and then and being able to do it in a way where you can realistically represent the thing you're thinking about yeah. um is a, is an incredible yeah. skill so thanks yeah. so much man what, this is when awesome. you when you don't sketch like physically with a with a pen and you go straight to cad i think sometimes at least when i i've experienced this when i go straight to cad i start thinking about the tools i need to use and the commands i need to use to mm -hmm. make this to design this thing before i even realize what this thing should look like yeah. right? like so it it definitely helps to kind of sketch your ideas first and then and then take it to cat to make it a little more mm -hmm. more realistic or more uh 3D uh so well, yeah i i totally agree with you can you can solve problems before they arise in your model yeah. by doing that yeah. you can you can sketch through something and think okay well i'm not going to quite do it that way yeah that's not a good idea just a bunch of rough sketches or something to help with that yeah. you know and then the other thing is um when you model you can get kind of stuck in your first assumptions about whatever the exactly. whatever the design yeah. is, right? So you're, you, it's like hey, it's a little too much effort to change that aspect of this, whatever it is, okay. right? So you, you just lazy. don't do it. You get lazy, you yeah. Get lazy, and then you compromise, and it's yeah. not a good product. It's not good. Yeah, and that's yeah. why that's why the best ideas come from a napkin napkin yeah. sketch, right? Exactly. That, that's uh, this that's is why. great, man. Love it. Thank cool. you. Cool, cool, cool. Is that is that that's is that it? it right? Is that is that one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah, four yeah. already. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, man. man. Yeah. No problem. Dude, thanks so much. Yes. This is great. Yes, stuff. Thank you. I wasn't expecting any of this. Um, I don't. I don't know what I was expecting. Dude, but likewise. This yeah. Has been incredible. Great I stuff. Can't wait to to use all the all the gear and yeah. Start printing. You got to show me what you print. Oh, 100 percent. And yes. um, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm gonna I'm gonna build that Lego set with my son probably tonight. Do it. And Do uh, it. yeah, you will see me in the hat, and <laughs> the square will be totally useful, and I'm. I am actually going to use that sketchbook and really uh, sketch every yeah, day. I'm yeah. doing it. This that's going to be a Love New it. Year's resolution. Was, and I think, again, that's a testament to all our amazing creators yeah. and customers that create all these products. So uh, we want to thank you for, for being there for us, for being part of the community. Uh, happy holidays. And uh, yeah. yeah, if you've got a great story to tell or, or a product that you want to talk about, let us know. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, we, we'd love to hear what, what your story is. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things Shop Talk. If you're ready to try Fusion 3 yourself, find the link in our description.